people don't think of Miami as like a very agricultural place, you know, it's like Portland or something or California. That's where all the food comes from. That's where everyone eats organic and everyone knows their farmer. But here we're a little bit more behind. And so I really wanted to like show people that, you know, you can do that type of thing here as well. There's a few re different reasons why we forage. One of them is to gain access to new, unique, and free food. And the other is to waste not. You know, there's a lot of food that ends up falling on the ground, windfall fruit, and I think it's important for people to be taking advantage of as many food sources as they can. And then it's also really importantly, it's a way of getting to know where you live, you know? If you're gonna go out and like forage around a new neighborhood that you just moved into or something, that's giving you an excuse to slow down and get out of your car and walk around and meet your neighbors and look down and look up, you know, look in directions that you're not really used to. I really love finding Monstera. The plant is really common. It's this really popular, big, tropical, waxy leaf that a lot of people use in landscaping. A lot of people don't know that it makes this giant, scaly, dinosaur-looking corn on the cob that when it's ripe, it takes a whole year to ripen. So finding one is like hitting the jackpot, a ripe one. The fruit underneath is like a banana that also tastes like a strawberry and a pineapple. It's like the best fruit. Basic things of kindness and caring of each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this neighborhood is predominantly Haitian, you know, very Caribbean. And these people are used to having, this culture is like very used to having food everywhere and having it be free. So people forage around here all the time. I mean, they steal our bananas, forage our bananas from our property. But they also, there's like this wild eggplant tree that's really popular in Haiti as like a tea or like a medicinal herb. And every day, like three old ladies with bags come and like pick the leaves off of it like from the public side of our fence. This is what they used in, in England and in continental Europe before like all the spice trades were really common and you could get black pepper which is like a tropical um, species. When I'm foraging I usually get really excited because it means I've scored a bounty. This is called Spanish needle. It used to be a really important food crop for the Native Americans that lived here. Foraging is really traditionally American.
it's a, a pastime that everyone's parents or grandparents can tell you a little something about. We're just moving so fast into like a techno-centric future or whatever that there are some people who are trying to pull back and say like, wait a minute, you know, let's look at some of the stuff that we've done in the past that was like really fulfilling and really important, you know? These memories that our parents and grandparents have of doing specific things that like, we, that they did for a reason, they enjoyed them. Doing things like picking a bunch of something that's in season while it's in season and then canning it, you know, that's great. That's always going to be great. And so it's, I like the idea of like putting down your iPhone and like getting together with your friends and like making a bunch of mango something, you know. <laughs>